our next act. Um, one that I'm really interested in seeing. Uh, before we go to that, Mr. Fred Hansen, do you still want to do your spoken word? Yeah, sure, actually, yeah. Okay, take it away. All right, now uh, the uh, I'm basically doing a spoken word rendition of the, a song called Let It Burn by Agent Orange. It's a uh, West Coast punk rock song. Just to give him a little background beforehand. I propose that we devise a plan down to every last detail. We cannot fail because the only thing that's standing in our way is disastrous betrayal. So let the driving force prevail. Now I'm falling back on all the dreams we've left behind. It's a lesson that I never thought I'd learn. Tonight, I'm going to sacrifice something I really love. Feel it melt into my hands and let it burn all night long. Ever since the day it all began, massive walls surrounding me on every side. Now I hear a crash. They all come tumbling down as memories collide. I'm living for that wild ride. Could it be that I've forgotten what I came here for? When I leave this world, I never will return. I know the only way for me to save my soul tonight is to light the midnight lamp and let it burn all night long. What can I say? You know what it means to me. I would kill to be where I belong. I know this thing could live endlessly, but I can hear them saying, better let it all go up in flames. Wow. Wow. That was definitely something. Can you tell us a little bit about like what, uh, and I know um, it's really not yours, but what, what does it mean to you? Like, like, what is the significance to you? Well, I feel like it could be uh, somewhat accurate to uh, summarize uh, this uh, foundation in general. Okay, I've never actually uh, done one of these things before, what it uh, kind of means to me. This song kind of symbolizes how, uh, well, to me at least, how much planning we kind of have to do to keep this whole foundation going. Like, and how initially there's kind of a lot of barriers in the way but eventually it's going to, those barriers are going to be out of the way once uh, we uh, get a little bit of a higher profile, you know? I kind of like, I don't know, it, but the way that you uh, read it, it's kind of funny in a really good way. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I really want to laugh. Yeah, thanks. Uh, it's just that the way you, <laughs> the way you read it, it's <laughs> weird, but at the same time, it just like, it fits in, in such a abstract way. Because I, <laughs> I, well, mu I, I would, oh, sorry. Sounds like uh, um, he was like a ringmaster of sorts, like a, I don't know, like a circus master. <laughs> yeah, I kind Step of have right a natural. Up. Step right up. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have a, a naturally funny voice. Like it doesn't know what pitch it wants to use most of the time. <laughs> but it's pretty funny though. I mean, like it, it kind of reminds me of something that a, that a villain likes to yeah that a villain would say like an antagonist villainous. which i mean i love villains i but yeah villainous, definitely the way you read it you're the, the hello. Hello. <laughs> oh. yeah, I like it. hello 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 i'm sorry sure. right, the frozen out <laughs> yeah look like you froze for a sec yeah that's the caveat of zoom huh